Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the Avada here and the Mavic Pro. We're going to take these out to a park that's just a couple of blocks away. And we'll get, we'll squeeze whatever time we can out of the Mavic. And then I've got three fully charged batteries for the Avada. We'll do some flying this afternoon. Come on for a walk with me. We'll take a walk down to this park. Down to the corner here. To the left. And then halfway down the block and then we'll turn to the right. And the park is actually straight ahead of me. Uh, but there's a row of houses here i got to go around. So i got a backpack on. And we'll take the... Uh, Avada with and the Mavic Pro. Now I've only got 60% battery left on the controller for the Mavic, so that's not too much. I don't know how much we're going to get, and I've got three batteries for the Mavic that I brought along, and they are all at three lights instead of four, so they're all, they're all at 75%. which is down a bit. And I got a lot of power in the, or a lot of battery power left on the uh, Osmo Pocket here. So that's pretty good. Trimming the hedges. <laughs> <coughs> now I have flown at this park right here uh, once I flew here and I flew at another park earlier when I first got here second day I was here and that one's actually posted online you'll have to go online and see that one and then I flew at a uh, golf course. So that's coming up yet on the next one here. Now down to the corner, turn right, and then I think it's a block down and we should be at this big park. Dodge all the palm trees. Oh, looks like it's fenced off. I don't know how I'm going to even get in there. Hmm. I'm going to have to walk down the way here. Which way do we go? That away? Or this away. Man, she looks like a jungle in there. Holy. It's pretty thick. Wow. I guess that's why they don't have it open for just walking in any old place. Okay, guys, I'm at the entrance of the park now i seen a sign that said like wild boar and things like that i hope there's no wild animals in here but this is the entrance if any of you can understand and read spanish there we go No alcohol, anyways. What the heck are these? Is this like bamboo? I think so. I've never seen bamboo growing in real life. I mean, only on uh, YouTube. Amazing. So this is a pretty dense... Um, forest here. Now, 
There's another sign up here, I guess telling you which way to go. Fountains to take a drink. I would never drink out of there. Okay, we have a museo. It's a museum. Oficiana. I don't know what that means. Like so, looks like uh, somebody you can talk to. Banyo, bathrooms. Aguada, water. Solar Maya. Parks. Looks like. My hang on, my phone's ringing. Let's have a look. See here, what does the sign say? Same thing. Museum. Office. Bathrooms. The water part. Solar. Kids playground and car parking lot. And we solar Maya right here. Something in through here. Pozo water. And what do we got here? A hut. An old hut. Coben. Coconia. Cool. Wow. Amazing. I guess this is like old ruins from a long time ago. Damn, I thought I had my camera turned on when those little animals were there. If I go back that way, I hope they come out again. They went into the forest. They seem to be pretty friendly, but they wouldn't come right up to you. So, the museum is number one. I guess I started at number seven, which was the park area there. I started at number seven. The museum is number one. And then six is the kids' playground. Two is the office. Three is the banyo. Four is the swimming pool. Five. Solar Maya. Well, we're at the Solar Maya right now, number five. We came in from number seven, that's where we are. We're heading to number four, the pool. Okay, let's head down this way. Okay, we're at a, a big open area here, and there's a building up here, it must be the Banyo. Hola. So when the light's red, it's recording. When it's green, it's not recording, it's just on. What an idiot. Make big mistake there. Now you see, that guy said something to me in Spanish. I don't know what it was. If you know the difference between crocodiles and alligators. Alligators have a big U-shaped nose and crocodiles have a more V-shaped nose. Uh, alligators kill about one person a year. Crocodiles kill about a thousand people a year. And that's because when they see humans, they're right after you. They come looking for you. A crocodile uh, wants to run away. And 
get away from you. I see a vehicle in here, and we're right close to the entrance, another entrance. Would be nice if I had a place to sit. I could just go right here, take off right here, and have a flight right from here. I just have to have some place to put my bag. You set it on this ground here, and it's just like like chalk. It just coats whatever you put it on. I don't see any place here where I can set this down. Oh, maybe over here. I'll set it right down here, and then we'll take off from here. Okay, guys, let's get ready.